Hello. With the new SiteGrainer WordPress and Advanced Blog add-on, we get a host of new hints to help us define and build up the blogs that we want. Now, the first hint I'm going to introduce is the very, very simple quick blog hint. This hint is normally used on just a placeholder layer, such as a black rectangle like you see here, and it means that this layer will be replaced by a blog with all the little bells and whistles and everything that we would normally have for a blog, rather than having to define them individually. Quick blog hint is very, very handy. Um, often, even when I'm building a blog where I am using individual pieces, I'll often still use a quick blog hint just to get a bunch of pieces for me quickly um, so I don't forget them. Now, once this is built, this is what it looks like in the design manager. Now, on the right-hand side of the page, you can see that that rectangle has been replaced by a blog with a series of posts in it. So these are just for us to see what the different pieces of the blog are and what they look at. Um, we can actually go and uh, click these posts and go and see them in single post view, and then we can see that there are comments, a comment form, and all the sorts of things that we expect to uh, experience from a uh, blog. Now. Um, unlike the blog hint, which is normally used by SiteGrinder 3, quick blogs are rather configurable and customizable. So on the left-hand side of the pane, on the design manager, you're going to see that there's a blog appearance pane. And inside this blog appearance pane, um, it lists all the blog layers that we use. In this particular case, there's just the one, the, the big quick blog layer, as well as all the identifiers that we used inside those layers. Now, if you're using the quick blog hint you get a slew of identifiers for free so you don't have to add, um, add them in manually and that's really the advantage of the quick blog layer so as we see there's quite a few things here uh, for example here is the post date identifier and if I click it notice that on the right hand side of the page the post date has been selected wherever it appears on the page um, I can now if I want um, customize this post date. I can uh, make a new style for it. So let's say that I want the uh, post date to be um, underlined wherever it appears on this page. So I'll just make a quick uh, um, new style here and I'll say, oh, I want this to be underlined. I want the, the post uh, date to be underlined. So I'll just apply that. And now on my page, the post date is now underlined where it appears on the page. Um, in this uh, quick block layer. So very, very handy there, um, little thing that we can do. Um, we also have um, other identifiers, such as um, if we don't want to see an identifier, we can get rid of it as well. So for example, the post time, not so handy necessarily. I don't really care. So I'm going to turn that off. And now when I view the, the blog, let's open this up again a little bit, um, I can see that the date is there, but the time has been removed. Um, similarly, um, if, for example, uh, I don't want to see some other piece like the um, like these blog things that we have here, um, I can uh, get rid of them as well. So, for example, there's the uh, blog description and the blog login and the blog name. And I've now hidden all three of those so that when I look at the blog on the other side of the page, it just starts with the posts. We don't have the uh, um, heading information that we had earlier in the video. Um, these uh, uh, blog elements are also configurable. So for example, if I come down here and look at my, um, my post content, um, there is a configure column, and this particular element is configurable. So if I want, I can open up a new dialog, and inside here, I can control how this particular thing behaves, whether or not it will strip the teaser in single post view, and this is a WordPress concept, um, as well as what the read more message will be. Right now, the read more message is continue reading. And if I look at this post, I can see it says continue reading um, post title, SiteGrinder 3 webinars. But if I want, let's change this uh, to be read more of the post title. Let's apply that. And now it says read more of SiteGrinder 3 webinars uh, with the post title. So this is um, the quick blog hint. It's very, very customizable. Um, you can apply styles to the individual elements. Uh, you can turn on and off elements and hide them and show them. And uh, um, really, there's quite a bit of uh, control that you have uh, with the quick blog hint. It's very handy. But if you want yet more control, stay tuned to the other videos where we'll be introducing the blog data, the posts, the comments, the single, and the other sorts of hints. Uh, thank you for listening.